Now in this question we're given that y equals e to the power the square root of 3x plus 1 and also that i equals the integral from 0 to 5 of e to the power of the square root of 3x plus 1. And we're asked to fill in this table for the values of y for x is 2 and 3 and 4. And that's going to be quite easy because for x equaling 2, y is just going to be 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 1 is 7, so it would be e to the square root of 7. And I'm just going to leave it as a kind of exact value like this, rather than working out as a decimal, purely because these values up here are also given as e to powers. OK, so all we've got to do now is just substitute x is 3. So we just do 3 3's are 9, plus 1 is 10, so that would be e to the root 10. And similarly, when you put x is 4 in, you get e to the root 13. And that was the first part, part A then, of this question. Now in part B, we've got to work out an approximate value to this integral then by using the trapezium rule. So, what is the trapezium rule? Well, the rule that I'm going to use, okay, is going to be this one, okay, that if we've got an integral of y with respect to x, it's approximately the width of every interval, which in this case, each interval is going up in steps of 1. And so it would be the width divided by 2. So let's just say that i is approximately the width of the interval, so that as I say was 1, because it's going up in steps of 1, divided by 2, then it's the first height, or the first y value, so that will be e to the 1, plus twice the sum of the middle heights, so that would be 2, times twice the sum of the middle heights, and that's these y values here, so that would be e squared, plus e to the root 7, plus e to the root 10, plus e to the root 13. And then it's plus the last height, or the last y value, which will be e to the 4. OK? And so that is the trapezium rule, and they, I've used it. All we need to do now is just work this out on the calculator and what we get is that this value comes to 110.56761 and so on and we've got to give it to four significant figures so that is going to be 110.6 to four significant figures. I'll just remove that okay, and that is how your answer should look. And that brings us now to the end of part B.